Hey you guys, welcome to your bi-weekly love reading. Uh, this is for Leo, Sun, Moon, and Rising for the remainder of December 2021. So I want to thank all of you for your love and support. Please keep in mind, these are general, so they may or may not resonate, but hopefully you get some clarity. Uh, also, if you're wanting to book a personal or private reading, be sure to ch uh, check the description box or um, email me for the price list if you don't already have it. Um, if you want to reach me by phone, make sure that you are registered with Bill per call, uh, request your call back, and if I don't get back to you that day, I'll get back to you within a seven-day time frame. Um, also, be sure to check me out on Patreon for the Venus sign readings. I do those monthly. Um, and also check me out on TikTok. Okay, so we have the overall energy is the Six of Cups. We have the Emperor, the Three of Cups. We have the Hanged Man, the Eight of Cups, the Nine of Wands, Queen of Wands, and the Knight of Pentacles. Okay, so overall energies, um, I'm seeing reconciliations off the bat. Uh, definitely could be you reconnecting with someone from your past. Uh, for some of you, it could be an ex. For others of you, it just means that as someone who you know, you know, doesn't necessarily mean that you guys were in a relationship, but um, it's, it's who you know. Uh, someone that you know. Also, um, there is the possibility if this is a new person that is going to have familiar energy, like you're going to recognize this person's energy um, because you're soulmates. So I feel like you are connecting with people who are part of your soul group as well as your soulmates. Um, I do feel that some of you are ready to go out dating or socializing, or maybe you've already done that. Um, and I do feel like there is someone that you're establishing like a bond with, um, or trust. Something could start off, um, platonic. And then I feel like this person it's funny, my candle just bubbled when I said that. So something could start off platonic and then end up um, like this person's going to start thinking and analyzing, or maybe you're the one thinking and analyzing um, about how to move forward. Um, but I feel like this person, they want to come off as having control of the situation, but deep down, this person really feels... Um, deeply um towards you they feel some sort of deep connection um i feel like they also just want to make sure that what they feel is real um i do again see like you connecting with someone on a spiritual level um now i feel like there there may be a situation where um you're torn between two people because it seems like one person you might walk away from and another person you're walking towards. Um, it also could be that whoever's coming towards you is walking away from someone and then walking towards you. Um, I feel too like things have been on hold in your love life, especially if you're single, because there's something that you've been trying to figure out. It's like you, you couldn't quite put your finger on what was missing, what was needed. Do you want a relationship? Is this person a soulmate? Do you, you know, want to move forward in a relationship? So I just kind of feel like there are things that you have been holding on to, but definitely emotionally, it seems like things have been unfulfilling and maybe you've been patiently waiting to figure out what that is exactly. Um, some of you have been keeping to yourselves and being isolated. Um, basically the same as going into hermit mode. Um, but I just kind of feel that it's more about trying to figure out the missing piece of the puzzle. Um, 
You also may have been waiting on someone to return and because it was taking so long, you started to give up. Hmm. I feel like there's trust issues. Um, someone's dealing with trust issues. So if you are in a relationship, I feel like you and your partner need to learn how to trust each other. Um, there's this suspicion of not believing the other person or maybe expecting the worst. Um, assuming that someone's going to hurt you like the other people did. Mm, I just feel like overall these are things that you need to overcome within. Um, you might be pro projecting your fears onto other people. Or other people are a manifestation of what you fear the most. So it's best for you to confront your fears. Um, if you are single, I feel like there's someone that is watching and they want to come forward, but they don't have enough courage, even though they appear like they do. This person does not have a lot of courage. And this person is worried that somebody's going to hurt them or they're going to lose themselves if they allow themselves to be vulnerable. Um, so this person is just trying to strategize how they're going to, you know, come to you. Um, I feel like somebody needs to think outside the box. Hmm. You might be in some sort of unusual situation could be dealing with any sign but i do have aries scorpio uh leo um sagittarius taurus virgo or capricorn coming out hmm it's possible too that two people are on the same uh, i'm sorry are on different paths and are going moving in different directions or growing apart um, so it's very possible that two people are growing apart mm. I feel like someone's also maybe reminiscing on how things used to be hmm Also, like I said, your person that's coming t towards you may be going through something. They might be going separate ways from somebody. Um, okay, so somebody is thinking about responsibility and I got this a similar message. So I don't know if you're dealing with um, a Taurus because I got a similar message in a Taurus reading. But I do feel like somebody is thinking about responsibility of relationships and wondering if something is worth holding on to if they're in a relationship or worth uh, entering a relationship with and, you know, being entering a commitment. So someone's contemplating. Um, definitely seems like someone is a soulmate. Again, could be two energies coming towards you. Uh, I also feel like someone need, needed to balance their karmas. Um, I feel like someone also just needed to balance their emotional well-being. Uh, or their life all together, like balance needed to be restored in someone's life before they could take on some sort of responsibility of a relationship. Mm. 
I'm also getting a, a man who is very old fashioned and needs someone to be patient with him because he knows that he can be a handful or bossy or controlling in a sense, overprotective. He does want to be the one who makes all um, the decisions. Not saying that he's not gonna share that responsibility with you, but he does like feeling like he has that control. And maybe, you know, if you are naturally, if you're old fashioned too, then of course you wouldn't mind being, you know, playing those traditional roles. Um, but I feel like this person does want to be in control of things. And he also looks like he's um, wanting children um, if not, then he still comes off as like a single parent. And honestly, I feel like this guy maybe has two children. That's another thing. I know some people are not okay with people having children. Um, but I do feel like this person has children. Um, uh, but if they don't, I feel like they want them or they, they could be come off like a father figure. They're thinking about kids. Um, This person also may be looking for the right person that would be a good influence around their child or children. Um, now, it could be female, but I'm getting the energies like masculine energies. Mm. I also feel like someone is starting to realize that this person is their soulmate. Someone is thinking about a marriage proposal. I'm getting two, you know, stories here because I see on one end somebody is unhappy. And then on the other end, I see that somebody is um somebody is ready for relationships or getting ready to enter a relationship. It could be that someone realizes that they're not happy without you. Maybe there was a breakup and then either, maybe the both of you are thinking this way. Like, I thought I would be happier without that person. Uh, I'm not happy without them. So, yeah, I feel like people are realizing that they want to be with somebody in particular. I'm hearing that old school song um, by Zapp and Roger. I want to be your man. Someone also thinks that you gave up on them. I also feel like maybe someone walked away to get their life in order. Mm. Also, something about somebody leaving a job or walking away from uh, a commitment or responsibility. Okay, I also feel like someone is planning on revealing their true selves or revealing what they're really feeling. So I feel like maybe uh, someone is working on overcoming their their um, insecurities and wanting to just express how they feel. Someone also may have posted something publicly stating how they feel. Mm. Someone also may have updated their relationship status like as a signal, like someone is like single, like I hope this person sees that I just updated my status to single. So I do feel like someone wants you to know that they're single and that they're planning on coming towards you or that they their intentions are to work things out with you or to rebuild something that was lost.
yeah i do feel like trust needs to be rebuilt between two people Something looks like outside forces is kind of pushing someone to, you know, step out of their comfort zone or to do something forced to overcome their fears. Something might push you to do that or something might push your person to do that. Um, I feel like someone is unexpectedly revealing a secret to you. Like you did not expect this person to say something to you, but they're saying it or they will. It also could be if it's not in person that someone reveals something to you in a dream or something that you dreamed about will be confirmed. Like maybe someone appeared to you in a dream and they told you their situation. Then when you talk to them in person, they tell you what happened. And it's like, oh my God, I had a dream that that you said just that so i feel like if you had a dream about that somebody came to you and told you something personal that is going to be confirmed um i feel too like someone has been ignoring their intuition and i'm starting to see like nines all through your reading so there may be a synchronicity it's synchronicities of nine that mean something to you that you might want to look into um, and then also be sure to check the number synchronicities video out for the month of December and see if that helps with whatever it is that you're going through. someone revealed a key piece of information to you or maybe you are realizing something about yourself that is key to sustaining a relationship um, or understanding why someone broke up with you or why they uh, or why you broke up with them I feel like maybe now there's some sort of understanding in regards to that I'm also getting offhand something about one of your ancestors has been trying to get your attention. Um, they've been trying to prepare you for somebody that's coming into your life. Um, you may have ignored what your ancestors were telling you or maybe you got afraid because it was scary like seeing stuff in the dark or hearing things move around, <laughs> you know, just whatever the case. Um, but I do feel like one of your ancestors have been talking to you or I would say spirit guide, but I feel like this is more so someone who used to be human and then crossed over. Although that could be a human. Um, yeah. Okay, this also looks like something from the past is resurrecting. There's going to be a resurrection. Um, uh, so just meaning that the past is going to resurface, there's going to be an opportunity to have closure or to talk about certain things to get closure. Yeah, I feel like you're going to have confirmation or clarity in regards to how someone feels about you uh, or you will admit that to someone. I do feel like someone's been dealing with a lot of anxiety, um, but they're ready to take a leap of faith or take some sort of a chance to get to know you or to come back into your life. 
All right, so hopefully the messages helped. Feel free to leave your feedback. Uh, thank you for watching. Sending love and grace.